good day. I'm uh, Lei Phương Linh. I'm 18 years old. I just got my result, which is an 8.0 overall IELTS score. And I'm glad to be here and share my experience with you. And this is Huang. Uh, hi, my name is, uh, my full name is Trần Việt Huang. I'm also 18 years old and currently I'm studying at Kim Lin High School. My IELTS result was a 7.0 and I'm also gladly to be here today to share with you my experience while taking the tests. So today we'll take a challenge from Zolo Education, which we have to answer uh, several questions. We'll have to choose either disagree or agree. IELTS is very close to daily lives, such as in our speaking or reading newspapers every day. Therefore, I think learning IELTS is very important for students who want to study abroad or want to work abroad. On the other hand, I truly believe that uh, one can surely use IELTS in their own country since lots of international companies and corporations tend to uh, shift their attention to uh, um, third world countries like Vietnam. They are absolutely require IELTS as a uh, basic requirement. In my opinion, um, being able to uh, learn uh, reading and um, listening skill without the help of a teacher is kind of an impossible task. You will have to um, have a lot of instructions from a teacher or a relative to show you what to search for, um, where to look up the word for, or where to uh, actually listen to a good documentary to improve your uh, listening and reading skills. And, um, and so overall, I think that a little help from uh, other people who are more experienced than you is really necessary. I have a different uh, mindset because uh, I listen to music a lot. Therefore, my listening skills is improve like very much. Uh, while if for readings, because you already have some uh, basic uh, knowledge of English, therefore a reading skill only improve when you read a lot of uh, newspapers or novel. It is not necessary uh, for the help of teachers. The culture in Vietnam is really different from uh, those countries like uh, when you say those cheesy things and uh, expressing your emotion is not like it's not something that happens uh, often in uh, real life or even in movies and that's a really great reason why uh, people feel it is easier to express your emotion in uh, English or in other language rather than Vietnamese. Saying something cheesy in Vietnamese or in English doesn't make it uh, any easier for both of the language because uh, if you say I love you in both English or Vietnamese, it won't, um, it will be very difficult for you if you are very shy to the person you express to. Uh, as, uh, as my experience of 18 years of living, I can I can approve that. And uh, most of my time, where I express a feeling to someone, it uh, doesn't work that way, and I usually got it rejected. So I'm still lonely. Lonely, I'm still lonely. Uh, it's still lonely up to then. I think that if you're trying to um, take an IELTS test, I think that you should prepare a good mindset, like believe in uh, yourself and believe in uh, what you what you can do, and 
that's the basic thing to actually achieve your success. Getting a high score in IELTS is not uh, hard, but also it's not very easy. It's just your state of mind that you think it is easy, then it will be easy for you. And also be optimist. We succeeded with Joel. Joel is waiting for you. Will you be next?